so the first thing that we started out with when we designed our uh, high tunnel was we became uh, pallet pirates. Yeah, recyclers. <laughs> so again, we really try to be frugal farmers and we try to use repurposed lumber and repurpose anything we can get our hands on. So what we needed to start out this project was 15 pallets that were all the same size. Yeah, that, sort of the same size. Pretty much the same. They had to be the same height at least. And that was a little challenging because pallets come in all different shapes and sizes. So we had a couple sources here locally. Well, local meaning uh, within uh, 20, miles. <laughs> about 20 to 30 miles. But we got 15 pallets that were the same size approximately. And that's where we started. Okay, so Tom's going to tell us all about what we did to put it together. Yeah, so anyway, we got our pallets that are basically the same size and we just uh, stood them up and we put in these uh, these fencing T-posts and drove those into the ground in between. Uh, we put ours on the outside, but I think uh, redoing this, I'd put them on the inside and set the pallet over it. It's a little harder, but it worked well, out. Well, the reason we didn't do that was because <laughs> we, we didn't want the T-posts to stick up above the fence because we were afraid it would puncture the plastic. Right. And so we went about it this way but you know, there's always better things you can do, but it worked for us. All right, this was, this was our build in progress. So after this, we screwed all of the pallets together, put the T-post in, set them in. Tried to square it up the best we could. Right. And uh, we realized this was a farm job, so it didn't have to be perfect. And, yeah. But location, location. So if you're gonna be doing this, make sure you're doing a nice Southern exposure. Look yes. at this, we have beautiful skies right here. We have nothing. We have this little tree, but it doesn't do much. No, today is definitely <laughs> a beautiful day at Blue Sky Ranch. Right. This is a greenhouse day. So yeah. next we had five cattle panels. Yep. And you can see the cattle panels are in here. And we put those up. And we didn't cut those at all. We just raised them up as far as they would go. And that's kind of what makes us the high tunnel. And then we just put those in. We'll show you later what we use. We use some clamps and clamp them to the pallets clamps and then we also went back and reinforced them with uh, fence staples and then before we put the plastic on after we did the cattle panels we had to put uh, what we used irrigation we use the irrigation uh, yeah, piping yeah, we used one inch poly pipe and just wrap the ends and so that, the wind wouldn't uh, rip up our plastic it, yeah so it wouldn't cause friction and rub against each other and caught, put holes in this plastic this has worked good and if you can see down here this has actually worked really good we have uh you can see the it right here now one thing we did use a lot of it was wire ties <laughs> lots and lots of wire ties uh, note about wire ties is that they will disintegrate over time so you might have to come back after a year or two and rewire tie things together because wire ties aren't the greatest but but plain old wire is not the greatest either because it can ruin your plastic now um before we finish this and put the plastic up we put in a beam in the center so let's go show you that okay let's enter this beautiful high tunnel that my husband did a fine job and then if you see here we did put this little uh door it's a a little magnet screen door it works really good that kept the the birds out oh my god it's warm in here it's yeah. 21 degrees outside and it's uh 60 inside 60 inside and it's only 8 30. okay tom you want to talk about what we did here well you can see what we did here we put a beam down the center most people probably don't have a beam like this but this beam is what uh, keeps this thing uh steady in 90 mile per hour winds which we have here that hit it full blast and then also this was added before the winter started and this is amazing you can see this it is rock solid yeah this thing doesn't move at all i can walk in here and it's 50 mile an hour winds and it is not moving now yeah, this, is, this is amazing and we were really blessed that most of this lumber was gifted to us and even like the window frames and the door frames tom everything was not dimensional he just cut it down to make it work yep. so this is a window here and it's got a screen on it as well and we, i can just push it open but inside here what we also did 
and I guess this will be an afterthought at the end, but we lined it all with uh, cardboard first and put black plastic down. And then we did all recycled pots. And that's pretty much another video, but everything we do here is frugal farming. <laughs> we try. We try. So anyway, this is how you want to make it windproof. Yeah, it's that, uh, it's that center beam and uh, some additional supports down to the sides that tie it all together that do, it does not allow it to move. It's, uh, I was really impressed and I'll show you some other uh, windproofing ideas that we uh, uh, did also that on, on the outside. give us some peace of mind. Absolutely. And right here you can see how we clamp the cattle panels to the top yeah. of these pallets. And when you said staples, you meant uh, fence staples. I said They're fence very, staples. Very right heavy there. duty. They're about an inch and a half long. So clamps and fence staples and then a lot of wire ties to tie them together. And then again, you can see where we use the irrigation tubing so as to eliminate friction and rub marks through the plastic. It's really amazing. This uh, this plastic is a UV resistant and we bought this from Amazon. We'll put a link in our description below, but it is absolutely amazing. It's a very thick mill plastic and it really uh, holds up to Was it six mil, five mil? I'm I, not sure. Well, I can't remember, but we'll link below, but okay. it's, it's done. We are in a hundred percent sun, wind. This place gets it all. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's amazing, but uh, last year we'll probably throw some photos in of uh, some of our tomatoes and cucumbers uh, just for fun. And then he framed this door also out of repurposed lumber. Just built a frame, put plastic over it, and then we leave it open most of the time in the summertime. And then we just have the screen door. So after we did our build, then we threw the plastic over. And of course that was an adventure because it was a, here. You never have a day where it's absolutely a wind free. There was still a little blustery day that day, but we got it on and we attached it with what Tom? Wiggle channel and wiggle wire. And this stuff, wow, it is so cool. So this makes it so you can actually attach it and then take that off. You could take the plastic all the way off without hurting it. Yep. Yeah. And, we, uh, and also when it gets super hot in the summer, we actually, all we do is roll up the bottom plastic here and expose the pallets, which is nice. And you get a lot of airflow through here. So just imagine we take off these boards at the bottom and roll this plastic up to right here. Yep. And, and, and that worked here. perfect. And, I, and then we also attached in the summer after the tomatoes and peppers were at their pretty well growing, we put a uh, shade cloth but, and then open for venting. And here's our doggy. Well, He's going after a mole hole. Coco. That was funny. Get it. She was doing good. She was digging the town. So after we did the wiggle wire and the plastics attached, we did some windproofing and that included these straps. Right here, this is also from Amazon. Amazing stuff. I mean, we've got, it's tight. These are tight and it does not allow your plastic to flop in the wind. Yeah, it's worked great. And then we just, we did this really practically. He just put screws through pieces of wood to yeah, hold that strap eye, in. Eye bolts threaded through and then we so, put So, oh yeah, so then here we did a little extra wind enforcement just so it couldn't move. These tires, I not going anywhere. they're full of dirt. Plus they weigh, I don't know. Right. Hundreds of pounds and he put a bolt through there and then a bolt to the tire now before we had the tires here One day when it was super windy and we were nervous. We actually parked our truck here And we attached the high tunnel to the truck. We were gonna have 70 mile an hour wind so we put the truck right against uh, parallel to it and strapped it down Yeah, but uh, now it survives. It survives. We're talking a whole year Coco, what are you up to? <laughs> She's being a starlet. A whole year, and we, you know, this is our first time ever building one of these, and it's been rock solid. Yeah, and it's amazing the the produce that came out of it. It was it was a lot of fun. I I never imagined it being um, so productive and 
it's so fun because I, I don't think we have over three hundred dollars into this. Right, we this had the we had here. to buy the cattle panels, the plastic, the strapping, yeah. the wiggle wire, everything yeah. else. We had all the wood, yeah. and actually, we already had the cattle panels. We'd bought them for another project and decided we were going to do this instead. Yeah. And fortunately, we bought them before inflation. Right. So down here at this end, we we did some creative folding of the plastic. It was it was a little of a bit of a challenge, but we decided to uh, pull the plastic in there and kind of pleat it. And we used staples, but then we put wood over top of the staples just so nothing could pull out if the wind got blustery. And we've used little pieces of wood. Yeah. This the, the fan situation it was really quite a bug kicker. yeah that was a bad idea if we could do something different down here i think we would have used a whole piece of plastic and built some type of a frame that's probably the only thing i would maybe recommend but the window works great and we have more strapping here and it's attached to our fence here so it's getting uh pulled both directions I guess so it can't go anywhere it's tight and we did have to put a little bit of foam here where the wiggle wire was just for to avoid rubbing but I don't know a year of wind sun rain snow you know it's it's uh it's amazing Oops. it's amazing if there's anything I can say about our high tunnel greenhouse is start sooner than later because by the time we got this done and we got the pots ready to go, it was perfect time for planting. It was. And uh, like, share, and subscribe, Blue Sky Ranch. And we'll have a link below for the plastic, the wiggle wire, the strapping, um, anything else that we can think yes. of. We bought it all through Amazon, and if I were you, I'd start ordering today before it's gone. And it's, it's, in, it's in the description of the video. Right, and we really appreciate you for watching. Thanks, everybody. Bye.